Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Dave Rips. Today, gonna be going through a mail day of some stuff I've been buying. Uh, mostly raw cards, I believe. There's a couple graded in here. Um, just gonna go over what I've picked up and kind of why I've been buying it. So, let's get to it. So, this is a Devin Booker. Uh, I did go to the University of Kentucky, so uh, I like the college stuff for all my UK guys. And this was a uh, Contenders draft picks, but it is actually go, uh, numbered out of 10. And I got that for like $30. Uh, so, just felt like too good of a deal to pass up on. Obviously not a rookie or anything like that, but... Should have a BGS. Make me nervous. Use Painter's Tape, people. Not not Scotch Tape. All right, there we go. Uh, I have a BGS reveal that I'm gonna get up soon. They actually returned an order. Uh, team leaders, Devin Booker. Another card numbered out of ten. Uh, I got this one for right around thirty dollars too. So. Uh, good. I'll probably hold on to both of those, you know, if they really go on a run in the playoffs. Um, okay, so this is break results for a break that I should not have bought into. Uh, go. Right. Uh, Keyshawn Vaughn. Go. Obviously bought the Bucks, trying to get Tom Brady. I already spoiled it, but Silver Tyler Johnson, actually not the worst card concourse level and boom concourse and i believe premiere right so, yeah premiere so pretty sweet stuff yeah and don't do breaks in general it's a great way to lose money Unless you're just doing it for the fun, but definitely, definitely don't go into breaks thinking you're gonna, gonna make a, a buck every time. Right, oh, I think I know what this is. Nice, yeah, so I picked this lot up a minute ago. Uh, just trying to identify guys who were um, really popular in their time, but have pretty undervalued cards. Uh, Jason Williams, AKA white chocolate uh throw up some little highlights of him real quick jason williams how does he do it how does he do it moving the basketball for his second but the great talent but Uh, this is just a Topps base rookie lot. Uh, they looked really clean in the pictures. Tell so this is a black border, so not an easy grade, but I think it'd be a nice little lot to pick up. Um, it was like 30 bucks. I don't remember how many there were, but there were like 10 or 15 of them, so uh, not bad at all. Uh, considering what a big part of the Kings he was back in the day. And this one is one graded card and a raw card. Uh, the graded card, I honestly didn't really even mean to purchase it. Just kind of like I know how some ladies will get on Amazon and not know what they buy. That's kind of how I am with eBay. So uh, <laughs> I ended up with uh, this Michael Jordan card. Nice PSA 7. Free hair in there. Uh, PSA 7, so yeah, no no idea why I, I bought that. Shouldn't have, but whatever. It's pretty cool looking. I'll probably just hold on to it. So, go. And then the real reason I was buying from the seller uh, at auction. Jeez, he's painter's tape. Painter's tape. Let's see. Little corner down there. Boom. So. Got this for like $80 for the zebras. They are case hits, so 
I uh, thought it was a pretty good price. I really like Clay. I think he could come back and the Warriors could be something to really mess with. Uh, this was one I did already open, so I just put it in my own envelope and seal it. Uh, this is a graded card I picked up. Um, it is a 2017 Select. You can see it's a LeBron James, numbered out of 299. I did win this at auction. Boom. So, that's staying in the PC. Uh, it might be something I move, but I really like these. I'd like to put together a collection of, like, serial numbered LeBrons. Uh, I got this for, like, shipped right around, like, 340-ish, so it felt like a really good deal, too. So, uh, just something I was super, super stoked about, so I wanted to make a quick video. Alright, so let me know if you all, uh, think these were good buys or not. Let me know what you all have been buying. Uh, be back soon with that BGS video. Thanks for watching. Peace.